Welcome to number 23 of my awesome health journal. I hope you enjoy. I'm Brett Dupree. I know I'm talking weird. I decided I'm going to start reading tonight, or every night, for try to be half an hour. Uh, <laughs> didn't make it. Yesterday I did 10 minutes. Today I think I'm doing 15-ish. I'm reading uh, Metahuman, Unleashing Your po Infinite Potential by Deepak Chopra. I went to his talk last year, and it was super fun. My friend Donna took me as a Christmas birthday gift. Birthday, I think it was. Which is so nice of her, and I truly appreciate her for doing so. something so nice. And so I'm going to read the book. And I'm going to go through the program and see if I become metahuman and unlock my greatest potential. It's been a long time since I've done one of these journals. Uh, to update, I've lost... Over 10 pounds since I've started, since my last journal. I, but I'm hitting a roadblock for some reason. When I'm close to 400, I just want to start eating again. I think there's just, I've blocks to my success in my brain somehow. I don't know how I set up, but they're there. Because when I start reaching a goal that I find awesome, it hits it. And for some reason, 400 became that goal sometime last year. So... This, this month, I'm going to break through it. I started a Transformer diet bet in December. That's something else I did. And so I made my first month. I got down 403, and now I'm wavering between 403 and 408 is what my scale is saying back and forth. Probably because of how much I ate today. When I made the first weight, which was supposed to be 405, and I just... No, it was supposed to be 408, and I made it, and next weight is 394. Five by the end of this month and that is the goal and that's what I'm going to hit 395 it isn't super awesome but it's not bad HMR is going okay the food is bland as heck so I use a lot of hot sauce but I am eating a lot more fruits and I am eating a lot more vegetables I was eating a lot of those and now I'm eating a lot of those at least five a day and there are shakes which are okay they're too sweet to be honest but for the most part, it's fine. I don't like the, I don't, I'm not a big fan of how you have to be 100% on it. There's no cheat days built in and you're supposed to 100% eat two entrees, three shakes and five servings of fruits and vegetables. And that is just, for me, it hasn't been fun. I, but I'm committed to going through it. And my plan is from now until, not this Friday, but next Friday, to what they call it in the box. I mean, it's no more cheating after today, which I ate soup that was loaded potato soup. And it was delicious. Mm, so good. And a whole loaf of bread, which was also so good. I think the main problem is it makes me feel empty. I like the feeling of feeling full in my intestines and my belly. I don't like feeling empty. I don't like feeling bloated which is overly full, but at the same time, when there's nothing there, it's just anxiety feeling. So I need to embrace that anxiety feeling, because that's what 2020 is, embrace the anxiety and move forward. Embrace the anxiety and move forward. That's my, that's, that's, that is my calling. Embrace my anxiety and move forward. I'm Brett Dupree, my awesome health journal.